Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful Tuesday here in Anderson, Indiana. Yes, that's right. I'm still with my father, trying to get him back into life as much as possible. It's rather difficult after being married for 60, almost 67 years. But we're trying our best, certainly value any prayers that you could offer too. I want to talk about stepping stones because boulders and rocks of that sort uh, fall into everyone's path from time to time. And when it happens to you, you're not surprised, or you shouldn't be. It's part of reality. Stumbling blocks come right in front of us. Sometimes they almost land on us. Of course, we hope and pray that doesn't really happen. Um, although I did see that happen on a um, Facebook video, I think it was, and the entire, it looked like the entire mountain fell into the sea. Um, how there was not a tsunami, I don't know, but the stepping stones are stones that have been put in place. One here, two here, one, two, three here, and so on. So the higher you climb, the more stepping stones will be in your pathway. And for those of you that believe in Christ, um, his grace is sufficient to last you. Now, that's a topic for another day, but I can tell you this, whatever you go through, you will get through if you rely on your faith in an unseen God. The faith, there's no faith involved. If God would show up in flesh here in this bedroom, um, I would say, wow, uh, nice to meet you, Jesus. But that's not how it works. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of something not seen. In other words, for you to say, I have faith, then you have to believe in a God that will keep you and propel you into your future, but in a loving hand. And don't underestimate God. He's quite powerful. Now, if you don't believe in God, just consider it doing good for better karma. However you look at it, don't let all the stones that fall in your path be stumbling blocks. Use them for stepping stones. You ever watch the people climb up the pyramid in Egypt? You can see places on some of the pyramids where those huge, huge blocks have been uh, obliterated with the passage of time and the millennia they've been there. However, some people still have the ability to climb up, but they're usually in legal trouble as they do. But that's what I want you to focus on. All the horrible things that you have experienced, let them be in your past, which means behind you, back there, behind you. Don't let them be something that trips you up and makes you fall on your face because you only get one second chance. If you mess that up, you're probably not going to learn the lesson. I hope that whatever lessons we're all meant to learn, we can learn them quickly because it can save us a lot of heartache. Are you going to be able to do that? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, if you like my little five-minute weekday photos, um, share this uh, share this channel out with your friends on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, whatever, uh, and tell them that encouragement and inspiration is something positive on the Internet and that Papa Mozo would be thrilled to have it anyone 
join the channel. And I always finish my videos by saying, if you feel alone in this world, you're not. And if you feel unloved, you're not, because I love you. Now, I finish every video that way, but I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and put it in the comments below if you do. If not, don't worry about it. But if you tell someone else that, you know, let me know that that message has gotten through to you and that you have shared that with someone else. You know, in this COVID-19 era, we can't always touch the people we love. Sometimes we can't even be in the same room. So get on your Facebook pages and your YouTube comments and things like that and let people know you're not alone in this world and you're not unloved because I love you. Let your friends and family know that. No time like the present, folks. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.